60% of new businesses fail within their first three years. So can our next entrepreneur convince the Dragons that he has what it takes to be in the minority that succeed? Um, my name is Andrew Sneath. I'm an inventor and also the owner of Hydrodome Limited. I'm here to raise £300,000 in exchange for 20% of the company. Hydrodome presently manufactures submarines for the tourist industry, builds and rents underwater camera vehicles, consults on design projects, and uh, operates RoboShark parties. The investment will enable us to build a venue which would give us the potential to directly market these experiences to the public. This facility would be a 3,000 square meter building with a 40 meter diameter tank in the center, three stories high. A tank of that scale would enable us to offer 30 submarine rides per hour and 10 scuba diving experiences per hour. These two hour experiences would include half an hour underwater being chased by our sharks and would be sold at 45 pounds each. If we only operated on Saturday and Sunday for 10 hours each, that would be a total income of 1.8 million, with a gross profit of 900,000 and a net of 600,000. I can show you a video of the summaries in action. This is how we set them up for a tourist operation with the float and line, so the depth is controlled. With this type of operation, we are able to take non-divers and give them a first-time underwater experience. This is footage of RoboShark. Um, I was trying to prove that robots really could survive in the wild, so we actually made a wildlife documentary with David Attenborough. As you can see, the Great Whites didn't take kindly to um, RoboShark swimming around Seal Island in South Africa. Amazingly, RoboShark actually survived all of those attacks. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to your questions. Inventor Andrew Sneath from Birmingham is asking for a massive £300,000 to build the Hydrodome, an underwater adventure centre filled with robotic sea creatures. It's an ambitious proposition for the Dragons, but Peter Jones is intrigued by the mini submarines. Andrew, could you, can you actually get on that and show us what it's like? I can do. Go on. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How fast does that go? It goes at three knots. And does it always stay vertical? Yep. We've been out in six foot surf driving around and it's fine. Um, you're asking for 300,000 mm pounds, but what exactly is your business going to do? When I, when I first designed Bob and built the first ones, part of the purpose was actually go to Florida and called Bob. Breathing observation bubble. Um, in Florida, we ended up with our own research facility with an outdoor tank, as though lucky. You know, I, I get the journey. Yes. I want, in a nutshell. Yes. What is your business? Manufacturing and renting unique underwater vehicles. We've just secured an order for seven of the units at six thousand three hundred pounds each. So, is the three hundred thousand pounds to create new underwater vehicles, or to capitalise on the existing business that you've created? It, it's taking, it's using the vehicles that we've already created and giving it a land-based environment to offer these rides to the public. Is £300,000 going to be enough? It is a £3 million building, um, but with the developers that I've worked with in the Midlands is that it comes down to the 300000 as a backup on the rent. So you want to take my £300,000 and throw it into a building to rent? No, I would put it in the bank and go work with the developer to, f to build the facility that we need. Have you spent a lot of time underwater lately or something? Well, I've just come back from the South Pacific, so yes. Because I can't believe that you're valuing a business at 1.5 million pounds and there isn't a business. The one and a half million was based on net profits of the Hydrodome in the first year. Well, Hydrodome's not built. It's a bad start. 
Andrew has had a real grilling from Peter Jones and he's struggling to get the dragons to share his enthusiasm for the Hydrodome. Theo Pafitis decides to try another tack. Andrew, uh, I'm Theo. Mm -hmm. Could you... Just, I'm struggling. I understand yes. everything you've said. Yeah. I'm struggling to understand this. There's obviously something else. What's your background? Um, well, h and in mechanical engineering and then seven years in the automotive industry, uh, learning how to build things. Um, I wanted to travel the world but also move into product design. So I decided to design my own product. Uh, built these, got the company started and decided it was time to sell and move to Florida for 10 years and uh, pursued my dream. So this is really a labour of love? It's 17 years, yeah. And now you have another dream? No, 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 it's, it's through the experience of setting up these rental operations. So we, we know exactly how to make money from these submarines. But a land-based facility has all sorts of new opportunities and secondary income streams. Andrew is clearly an expert in his field and he's convinced that his underwater concept has the potential to make huge profits in the UK. Unfortunately, Deborah Meaden, who's made her fortune in the tourism and leisure industry, is looking less convinced. Hello, Andrew. I'm Deborah. I find you slightly otherworldly. I don't know. I sense we're all struggling with understanding... Mm how this could possibly turn into a, a business model. I mean, we saw a lovely video here of people inside these bubbles and looking at stingrays floating past them mm. and, and fish. You are actually considering putting this in an empty tank, aren't you? Uh, yes, but then with a the fully <laughs> autonomous robot so creature. I'm finding you more otherworldly as time goes <laughs> on. How many people do you think are going to be interested in getting in this and just gliding around an empty I think fish tank. I think the, pers the personal experience of doing it um, and seeing, you know, 50% of the fun is driving And seeing around. what? No, 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 I'm interested. <laughs> seeing what? There's nothing in the tank other than water. Andrew, Andrew it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like snorkeling in a swimming pool. Yeah, I think it's a stage, basically. You've got this giant water tank, and then within that you put fully autonomous robot creatures that interact with you and change their body colours. They're robotic. So a lot of the attractions, if you go to a Disney or any of those, they're all robotic. With yeah, but you've hit something there. What Disney have is a whole range of attractions, so you've got a tourist foot flow. Yeah. You've actually got people visiting that site. You're putting this isolated, I think, unless you tell me it's in the middle of a tourism zone. Yeah. Is it in the middle of a tourism zone? No. So it's not in the middle of a tourism zone. You're expecting this to attract enough people to turn this into a viable and profitable business. If I were you, I would absolutely abandon that idea and talk to tourist attractions, sea life centres, places where people are going who are even vaguely interested in this. So I'm afraid you'll probably gather what I'm about to say next. Mm, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Deborah Meaden has walked away from any deal and Andrew's ambitious pitch is beginning to look shaky. But James Kahn has spotted something that his rivals have missed. Andrew, hi. My name is James Kahn. Hi, James. Is there much of a market for that machine in holiday resorts like Spain, France, America? Well, the first, the first seven, the order for the first seven are going to the Red Sea, and the client there actually wants to set up rental operations all the way up the coast. And I actually have letters from him saying that he'd like 200 units. Okay, just remind me, that costs six thousand pounds. Six thousand three hundred. And it costs how much to make? 2,300, and I'll have it below 2,000 after Christmas. I'm just going to think outside the box for a second, Andrew. Mm -hmm. If you were to set up a separate company mm -hmm. where you put this product into that separate company yeah. and you wanted to develop that as a theme, yeah. you know, I would be interested mm -hmm. in backing you to do that. Would, right. that, would that interest you? Uh, yes, it would. In yes, it would. If I asked you to write a business plan to show me what the future opportunity of that would be, what, what's your gut feeling? My target next year is to sell 50 units. I feel I can achieve that. So that would make you £200,000? Uh, yes. So then you wouldn't need 300000 The Once we've got the bobs into that sort of production level, the profits would enable me to buy my own tank. So I'll get there just another way. Having seen potential in the one-man submarines, 
James Khan has declared an interest, but he's stopped short of making an offer in the hydrodome business. Will Theo Pafitis be prepared to invest? This is a dream. You need someone very wealthy that likes remote control sharks. Do you know anyone? Not yet. Right. Well, I'm not him. Thank you. So I'm going to declare myself out and uh, allow the other dragons to fight over this. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I am, Andrew. I think really, honestly, I'm Claude Cuckooland. This is miles away from reality. It really is. I think you have to rethink your strategy completely. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I'm not going to invest in I'm out. Two more dragons out in as many minutes, and Andrew's chances of investment are fading fast. Peter Jones is ready to have his say. OK, Andrew, I think from a commercial business perspective, this business um, it doesn't stack up. But I've got to tell you, I really, really like that product. I could see that product abroad like you described it on, on the video. I'd love to get in one of those and have a go. I think that looks really funky, very unique. I hope you see your dream through, but it's not a dream that I'm going to invest in. So right. I'm out as well. Certainly. Andrew's last hope of investment now lies with James Kahn, who's already expressed interest in the mini submarines. But can the Dragon see enough potential to invest the whole £300,000 and make Andrew's vision a reality? I'm definitely not convinced that there is a market for people mm -hmm. in Birmingham who would go to a water tank to watch robot sharks. Right. But I do like this Bob. Yeah. And I think if you had come to us today with that proposition mm. and looking for a more sensible number, that I think as an investor, mm. you know, has real appeal. You know, and I think three hundred thousand for a proposition that I don't believe in, mm -hmm. I'm out. OK, thank you for your time. It's all over for Andrew. Unable to persuade the dragons to invest in his underwater project, he leaves the den empty-handed. <laughs>